These accidents with dangerous goods show how important it is to observe the ICAO and IATA regulations closely. What makes dangerous goods so hazardous? It is their properties. And that is why the ICAO has classified these substances into nine hazard classes. Let's start with class one. This class comprises all explosives. Included in this class, we find practice ammunition, plastic, military and technical explosives and ammunition used in hunting and sports. Most explosives are not transported by air as they are too dangerous. Here is a parcel containing five kilograms of TNT and its effect. But even small amounts are enough to cause a lot of damage. For this reason, explosives from two divisions only may be transported by air. Explosives in division 1.3 with the compatibility letters C and G and explosives in division 1.4. What are their properties? 1.3 C and G are flammable. There is little risk of splinters, fragments and broken pieces. Division 1.4 contains substances and objects which are not significantly dangerous. For example here, these flares and smoke signals. Compatibility group S is of a particular interest. This group includes safety ammunition, for example, sub-caliber ammunition for weapons used in hunting and sports. Summarizing once again the properties of the explosives which may be transported by air, fire risk, low risk of explosion and splinters. Let's have a look at hazard class 2, the gases. This includes compressed, liquefied or frozen gases and those which are dissolved under pressure, as well as mixtures of gases and aerosols. Gases can be transported in pressurized containers. This container is filled with 300 grams of a non-flammable gas, carbon dioxide. If the container or seal is damaged, the effect is similar to a gunshot in the hold of an aircraft. Spray cans are also pressurized containers and can burst if they are exposed to high temperatures or a drop in air pressure. That's why pressurized containers must never be heated or damaged. The various class two labels, apart from showing the general pressure risk, also indicate additional properties. This red label indicates flammable gases of the division 2.1. Here is a demonstration with hairspray. Besides, when gases and air are mixed in the right proportion, this can lead to an explosion. This balloon is filled with a mixture of gas and oxygen. You can imagine the effect in the hold of an aircraft. The green label stands for non-flammable, non-poisonous gases of division 2.2. They can have either an oxidizing or asphyxiating effect. These gases can be extremely cold. 
liquid nitrogen, for example, can be as cold as minus 192 degrees Celsius. A rose dipped into it freezes within seconds. and shatters like glass. These gases are heavier than air. They displace the oxygen and make breathing impossible. We now come to the gases which are also poisonous. They belong to division 2.3. Poisonous gases spread very quickly. If inhaled, they can cause serious health problems or even death, not normally allowed to be transported on passenger aircraft. Let's summarize the facts. Class II gases are often transported in pressurized containers. These containers can burst. Depending on their other properties, these gases can be flammable, produce low temperatures, displace air, be poisonous. Flammable liquids come under class three. This class comprises liquids which give off a flammable vapors, for example, varnish, solvents, lighter fuel, kerosene, and adhesives. These substances have varying flash points. This is defined as the lowest temperature at which the vapor coming from a liquid can be ignited in air. By the way, the boiling point is an important factor when classifying the substances. These include all liquids which are measured to have a flash point of 60.5 degrees Celsius or less in a closed container or 65.6 .6 degrees Celsius in an open container. Isopropanol, an alcohol, gives off enough flammable vapor at 10 degrees Celsius. 